Nicole Menner joins us now from the Fox 11 Fieldhouse. And Nicole, OTAs are voluntary. Michelle, that's right. These are voluntary. And I would say it was a pretty even mix in that some veterans were there and some were not. But noticeably absent from OTAs was, in fact, Aaron Rodgers. This is the second straight year Rodgers has missed OTAs, although things are much different this time around. Unlike last season, we do know that Rodgers will be back. He signed that contract extension in March. So overall, not too much concern in the locker room that 12 is not in the building this week. But there are quite a few new pieces to this offense that probably are itching to start working with Rodgers. Instead, right now, they are getting Jordan Love, who absolutely does benefit from Rodgers being absent. Love is out there right now handling those one reps for the second straight year and said right now he's just viewing it as if he is that guy. LaFleur didn't completely close the door on Rodgers making an appearance as OTAs continue next week. But LaFleur said it's all on him, emphasized OTAs are voluntary, and shared that he and his quarterback had a long conversation last night. I talked to him last night for a while, which is great, just to kind of update him on just where we are and, and go over a few, uh, like we do every offseason, there's always tweaks to to what you're doing, but um, no, he's in great spirits and it was a great conversation, but yeah, I wouldn't anticipate seeing him at least this week. I think that's Aaron's game plan is to, you know, he doesn't really need this this time right now, so uh, I enjoy it and not being here. It just means more reps for me, more reps for everybody else in the quarterback room. So um, obviously I'm loving it. Now, Rodgers will be participating in the match next Wednesday. As I mentioned, Packers OTAs continue next week on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. But Rodgers made an appearance on the Pat McAfee draft special last month and said he does plan on being here for mandatory minicamp, which starts on June 7th. Reporting live from the Fox 11 Fieldhouse, Nicole Menner, Fox 11 Sports.